Muslim American community might be the group that faces more challenges than any other demographics here in this country. But they never stop having their voices to be heard. They came all over the country and gathered here in Washington, D.C. to celebrate President Barack Obama's second term national inauguration. Let's get close to them and share their stories. Different belief, different fashion styles, different clothes, and even different R&B songs. Everything about the Muslim Americans community are so different that sometimes you might forget they are one of the earliest immigration group in the United States. In every aspect of this country, um, you will find um, a Muslim, uh, by and large, generally. The reason why we're holding this gala is to uh, portray what true Muslim uh, America represents. Talib Karim, the co-chair of Muslim American Presidential Inaugural Committee, said when he first came to work in Capitol Hill 22 years ago, things were different. Because when I was first working here in Washington and uh, on Capitol Hill, there were, you know, no gatherings such as that, and so oftentimes. Maybe I wouldn't be able to go in um, to prayer service, but now uh, staffers don't have to, you know, uh, feel that tension of um, missing prayer service because uh, they have an opportunity to go to Juma right there in the Capitol building itself. Assalamualaikum. Stepping into the 20th century, the Muslim community in America has grown from a small minority to one of the farthest growing religions in this country. Today, they have become even more visible, especially after 9-11. And we acknowledge that those things are, um, are the case and we um, you know, don't make any apologies uh, for anybody because you know, everybody needs to be judged on their own. Um, nonetheless, we believe that it's important for the government to uh, avoid stereotyping um, Muslims. To Nadia McIntosh, a Muslim woman and once her single mom, the life under her scarf is different from many other American women. Because I'm a Muslim, I lost my job. I used to work for San Antonio Housing Authority. Um, it was always an issue, why am I praying? And I, I usually did my prayers during my break, either my lunch break or my 10 minutes break. I never used their time to do that. But I started covering up so they were uncomfortable with that and they didn't like the idea that I was praying. So it was always an issue about that. Um, one day they eliminate the whole position. Unemployment can mean struggling to get by. As a single mom with three children, Nadia says she felt like an underdog. Because I couldn't pay my rent on time, I got evicted by them. Once I got evicted by them, my children and I were living in our car. Uh, we lived in our car for like maybe about a month, just going from house to house. Um, getting help, you know, to eat, but we lived in the car, going to different places to take showers. Uh, sometime at the Instead of surrendering, she showed how the woman wearing her scarf can still change herself and other Muslim women's destiny. She built her non-profit organization to provide shelters for Muslim women. I end up opening a shelter. Why? Because I saw women were going through the same thing I went through. The masjids were not helping the women. They were helping the men. The men didn't sleep at the masjid, but the women could not. So you know it, you know it, sing along with me, and I got a special treat at the end. So I want you to just follow me. This is a place where you want we all Like Nadia, more and more Muslims and Americans try to prove that even though they are different, they can still be as strong as the others. They can follow their heart and have their own unique life. America is my heritage, that's my that's how that's who I was born as. Muslim is what I choose to do. It's my religion that I choose, it's my way of life that I choose. Being American and being Muslim is not a competing thing. So I don't like to say I'm one first or the other. And it's always peaceful. I wanna go to a land like Zion. I wanna go where you can't get higher. To them, and there should be a paradise peace, with every race living together to equally. Be. I wanna go where corruption is gone. I wanna go where love is strong. It's a very universal song. You won't find African cultures. I think any culture 
everybody aspires to something higher. And that's what that song, song speaks to. It speaks to something, reaching something higher, something better over the long term. But we gotta work for that. That means we have to work together and we have to work as people, you know, to try to achieve that goal. Somebody.